Hey everybody. So you're probably gonna think we're a little crazy when I tell you what we had for breakfast this morning. So you know that we are adventurous eaters and we had leftover deviled eggs. And so there's eggs and spice involved and that qualifies for most of our breakfast. So we made avocado toast with the sliced leftover deviled eggs. And it was really good. We sprinkled red pepper flakes on top and it was, it was excellent. So that was breakfast this morning. And then for lunch, we had found some dragon fruit on sale at the store. And if you've never had dragon fruit, it kind of, my closest comparison would be to compare it to a kiwi in texture and flavor. And so you peel it and we dice that and put that on our salad along with some sugar snap peas and we had a zucchini. And so that was our lunch along with leftover burgers and onion rings from last night. So we've had a few people ask us about snacks, about snacks that we don't really, we don't honestly eat snacks every single day. And it is really rare if we eat a snack in between breakfast and lunch. But some of our typical snacks, we like to have things on hand all the time, but some of our typical snacks are air pop popcorn, with just salt and we use a little olive oil from our olive oil sprayer. Now this is a snack that Scott does eat almost every day and it's a combination of yogurt. He uses whatever frozen berries that we have on hand. He throws some nuts in there and most of the time he tops it with some cacao nibs. And so that is gonna be his snack today. So that's exactly what it looks like. But I will honestly tell you that he also snacks on leftover salad. So this is the leftover salad and this may not still be here by dinner time. So, um, but another thing that we like to do or have on hand a lot is nuts. So we happen to have cashews and pistachios right now. This is a pretty typical snack for me. I love peanut butter. So to do a sliced apple and some peanut butter, whether it is creamy or crunchy. Um, but these are two things that we keep, like we happen to have on hand in the freezer right now are chocolate chip banana muffins and we would pair that with like a small orange or some grapes. And these are the peanut butter power balls. I pulled those out of the freezer. So we have those on hand to grab, whether it's a snack or even dessert. And another thing that we haven't really talked about a whole lot, I mean, you guys have seen us eat strawberry pie and we had an apple cinnamon bundt cake. Um, we've had chocolate peanut butter cups, but our pretty typical dessert is for each of us to just grab a piece of dark chocolate whether this happens to be 72% that we have in the house right now, we typically buy 72 or 80. And so we almost always have dark chocolate in the house. So we'll each have a piece of that for dessert if there's nothing else to grab. So uh, for dinner tonight, we have some things going on this evening. So we are just going to um, have a homemade pizza with, we've got some leftover sauteed peppers and we've got some mushrooms and some pesto. So we're gonna make a homemade pizza. And then we picked up some asparagus. We're, we're anxiously awaiting the farmer's market asparagus, but we picked up some asparagus and we're gonna do an asparagus and strawberry salad that is on the website. And we're constantly trying to improve and update pictures. So it, it could use a new picture. So we're gonna make that tonight. And that's a wrap on the day. We'll see you tomorrow.